I am Tony from the Massful Engineer Programme and today's boiler what we're looking at is a Raven E85 CSI and the problem with this boiler is that we're not getting no hot water. Now I'm going to show you a little test what you can do to prove that the diverter valve in this case is not working and how it can fail in different ways but it's going to be quite a unique way how this is going to fail but we'll show you what we're going to do. So I'm at the tap at the moment. So in the position it's in now, that's on hot only. And when we open it on the hot only, the diverter valve moves over and there's no problem, it makes a connection. Now, the problem what we've got is when we move it into the mid position, like that, and when we open the tap then, then it fails. The um, diverter valve plunger pulls away from the micro switch and then shuts it off. So I'll show you um, on a divert valve itself. All right, Kevin's so open the tap now on full hot, and you can see it's made fully. I'll just try and make it so it can see a bit better. So it's fully made. Now we put it in the mid position now, so it's on mixed hot and cold, and you can see it's pulled away now. It's gone back in, We've gone away from the micro switch, and that's what's happening. So that's why this divert valve failed. So if you like get a situation when you open the hot tap, you think, oh, it's no problem, it's fired up. And you haven't got a mix of taps. You can hope open the um, cold tap at the same time as a hot tap. And it'll do the same thing away. It'll take the pressure down and it might pull back. So that's a quick test to prove that divert valve has failed. So that's the end of this diagnostic on the diverter valve testing. Hope you found that useful and I'll see you on the next video.